caught up with a group of fourth and fifth grade students at Sherwood Forest Elementary as they practiced for a musical theater performance of the classic Walt Disney film, Mary Poppins. I really love theater, especially since you get to like sing, you get to act, you get to dance, it's, it's amazing. All right, are we ready? Go. Led by longtime music teacher Mary Epperson, these actors took the stage and presented Mary Poppins Jr. live on campus in the gymnasium in front of friends and family. The opportunity to simply perform in this production is not one these students take lightly. If you walk into a different world, you're in school with your friends and your teachers and schoolwork, which is typical, and then you walk in that room and you just you feel like you're in a fantasy world. It's the most amazing feeling that you'll ever feel. It took a lot of commitment on their part. They had to learn their lines and things at home and uh, their songs. It's just wonderful that we're able to provide this. It's an enrichment opportunity for students and for some of the students that may not shine in other areas, they get to shine up there on the stage and it's just wonderful to see. WSFCS is proud to give our students ways to express their feelings and emotions. Parkland High School's theater arts program accomplished that goal as they presented their annual spring show, The Elements, live in front of a packed house in the auditorium. We cover issues that teens deal with on a daily basis. We went along from going to teen pregnancy to um, teen domestic violence. Gang violence, domestic abuse, uh, interfamily problems, um, LGBTQ+, plus. so just a bunch of different uh, topics. Just cover a lot of stuff that we know we can relate to. And then when the students did monologues, you know, I, it's their stories. So you will not see me give up, so you will not see me break down. The whole message is to let you all know, let the adults know, let them know that we hear you. We know that these things are happening, and the whole point is to bring awareness that their voices are being heard. We get it. We understand. Sixteen years ago, two miracles showed up in my life. A couple wanting children. 26 WSFCS high school students got their chance to express themselves by presenting poems they wrote in front of a big crowd at the Education Building. It was all part of the 2023 Poet Laureate Project presented by WSFCS and the Forsyth Educator Partnership. This event started in 2009 and it's a great way to provide students with the opportunity to express their creativity and receive positive recognition for their efforts. Congratulations to all our young aspiring Inspiring poets. It's after school on a Wednesday and the Media Center at Jefferson Elementary School is packed with over 150 students learning a modern art form that originated in England over 200 years ago. The Crochet Club. <laughs> That's what they're here for. <laughs> you know, kids nowadays, they struggle with perseverance and they struggle with anxiety. And these are two things that I was trying to figure out a way to help them cope with when they're here at school. The response from the students wanting to learn the craft has been incredible. The hope is that the lessons learned from the patience it takes to crochet will carry over to other parts of their school life. They gain confidence from it and they've learned to persevere. And so I'm hoping that they take away from that when they're sitting there doing a math problem and they can't figure it out, that they remember how to persevere. And a lot of teachers are also um, incorporating it in their classroom because it helps their kids calm down, it helps them focus, and, when, and it helps them do their work. I mean, they do stuff and then they sit down and they get to crochet. Oh, wow. This is an incredible honor. Very humbling. Just hearing that I was one of the top five finalists for the Core Award just had my mind Blown. An extreme honor. Our district is full with amazing professionals that do exceptional work every single day. And to be even in that group um, really, really, really is an honor. The 30 finalists for the 6th annual WSFCS Core Awards visited the Cable 2 studios for Media Day. Pictures were taken and interviews were conducted for the top five in the teacher, classified employee, assistant principal, principal, certified support personnel, and volunteer of the year categories. The 2023 WSFCS Core Awards will be handed out on May 4th at the Benton Convention Center in downtown Winston-Salem.